Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making a mixed berry crisp and crisps are easy. So if you have people coming over or if you have family or friends and you need a dessert like now, this is the thing to make. Any berries, any combo, all you need is about four cups total. Now, before I get started, I'd like you to click the notification button so you can see all my tips and videos because they're awesome. All right, so let's get started. You're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You're gonna put a nine inch like casserole or even uh, any, any type of a round pan, but it's gotta be about nine inches in diameter. And because there's always berry juice, and you don't want it to overflow all over your oven because I don't want to get any hate mail. I had to clean my oven. You want to put it on a sheet pan that's lined with either aluminum foil or parchment. And then you're just going to set that aside. So in a large bowl, I have a combination of strawberries, uh, blackberries, and blueberries. You can do raspberries. You can do whatever you want or whatever is in season. And I'm just going to give them a slight toss three tablespoons of coconut sugar. If you like any other type of sugar, use it. All right, could be brown sugar, could be granulated, anything you want. All right, and then I have two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. Absolutely delicious. This has a little tropical note to it, and I want to make sure I'm reading correctly. One and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. That's our thickening agent. And you're going to just toss this, just gently toss, all right, just toss. And it comes together so easily. I think it takes longer to preheat the oven than it does to actually prepare this. Um, and it will take, you know, about 35 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven, how hot it is. Uh, but we're going to take this and we're actually just going to pour it into our pan. All right. With any of its juices, just push it in there all around in the corners. All right. Now we're going to make our crisp, the crumbly, crispy, yummy topping. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is take four tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm going to put it into another bowl. All right. If you wanted to use the same bowl, you probably could. Save a bowl. Why not? two tablespoons of maple syrup. Use a high quality maple syrup. If you want to use honey, use honey, agave, use agave, whatever you want to do. And then mm, a nice teaspoon of coconut extract. And just whisk that up. And I just whisk that up. And then we're going to add one quarter cup of flour, all purpose, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, all right? Now this is where the tropical notes come in. So we have about, let me see, it's about a half a cup of sliced almonds if you wanna go a little more, a little less. These are toasted, you don't have to toast them if you don't wanna. Third of a cup of shredded coconut, this is not sweetened coconut. All right, and I'm gonna put my whisk down uh, because I'm gonna actually mix this with a spoon. One cup of old-fashioned oats. Put that in there. Oats are very, very typical of a crisp. Uh, they don't have to be in there, but they're very typical. Now this should form clumps because clumps form crispy bits in the oven. And I don't know about you, but I love crispy bits in the oven. This is great, this crisp, over ice cream, vanilla ice cream. I have a great buttermilk ice cream recipe. Uh, on, on, on my YouTube channel that, that you could make, uh, and you can get the recipe on chefgailsocal.com, my website. It's absolutely delicious. This would be amazing with this. So get all your good stuff off of that spoon and just sort of sprinkle these clumps all around the top of your fruit. You don't even have to be so neat about it. Just dump it on. This is so easy, and it's ready to go in the oven. All right, 35 to 45 minutes, you want it to get nice and brown. You want to see a little bubbling with the fruit on the edges, but you do want the fruit covered. All right. Oh, it's so good. So good. All right, putting this in the oven for 35 to 45. So my mixed berry crisp is out of the oven. 
oh, I can hear it as I push through the crisp layer. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's going to go in nice and hot into bowls. All right, and then I like to top it with some vanilla ice cream, some buttermilk ice cream, whatever you like. Mmm. Oh, this smells. I'm going to top it with my beautiful ice cream. Oh my God, is that the most incredible, incredible dessert you've ever seen? I hope you try this mixed berry crisp because you don't know what you'll be missing if you don't make it. Until next time.